Well, good morning. Good morning. Today is a great day to be alive, and I hope that you are having a very good start to your day. Um, I am excited about today because, as always, today is a great day to be alive. Uh, God has awakened me with life, health, and with strength. And um, he's given me a brand new day filled with new grace, a day with new mercies, uh, just to live for him. And I am excited about what he has uh, for me today. I'm excited about what God is going to do um, in my life today. And so I am expecting uh, something great from him. And I hope that you are too. Um, we are on our morning drive to work. Everybody is uh, in gear. Everybody is rushing out of the door, you know, and making our way to work. So perhaps you're on your morning drive. Um, if so, that's great. And if you're on this live, that's perfect because I want to speak something uh, into your ear this morning. Just just real quickly. Um, there's this idea that I set forth in my book called Consecration to Align. And I want to encourage you right now to take a few minutes um, before you walk in and consecrate yourself. Um, that's an old school term. Uh, many people don't necessarily uh, t use that term anymore. But it's a very critical term. It comes from the idea um, of the Old Testament, um, of course, when you saw people dedicate their lives for a certain season. Samson was dedicated uh, from his from his very beginning. Um, and kind of in the New Testament, uh, that idea was kind of lost, uh, but it was embellished in the word called sanctification. And what I want you to understand this morning is that there are two ideas that the Bible sets forth with sanctification that you need to know for your work day to day. Um, number one is, is to be sanctified is to be separated and brought into um, a relationship with God. He's taken you from one place, the kingdom of darkness, and translated you into the kingdom of his marvelous light. And so you have been sanctified or set apart uh, by the grace of God. And that's what we call salvation. But then there's another side to this word sanctification, and that's the daily walk. And that's what I want to talk to you about just real quickly before you go on to work is the daily walk. Um, the daily walk is the daily renewing of the mind. It is the daily mortifying of the flesh. Um, it's the daily application of the word of God in such a way that your life now begins to look like him, not just internally, but externally. So God does a work in my heart internally. He sanctifies me in my heart, but he does a work for me externally as well. Um, he sanctifies my daily walk. And I want you, before you go to wherever you're about to go, I want you to consider what God wants to do on the inside and the outside of you today. I wanna encourage you to consecrate yourself. And what that looks like could be a minute of prayer. That could be a minute of reflection. That could be a minute to just meditate. That could be not just reading a post and then say, oh, that's a great post and then going about your day. No, taking about five or 10 minutes or so and just saturating yourself in the post that you read or saturating yourself in the scripture and and then get in alignment with it. What, what, what I'm saying is, is consecrate to align yourself, not just uh, uh, read and understand, but consecrate to align. In other words, to get in line with what God is saying to you, to get in agreement with what God has for you and the purpose to walk in that thing. Uh, people of God is so very important to consecrate yourself and to align yourself uh, because your day may be filled with challenges. You may have uh, some turmoil on your job. You may have some difficulties to deal with. Uh, and that's a reality. We all have that in our lives. But when you're set apart in your heart and when you're set apart on the outside, what that does for you, uh, child of God, is it, uh, it allows uh, others uh, to notice your walk. And God sends other people to your rescue. God sends other people to your defense. That's why your reputation with others is so very, very, very important. Uh, God puts you on display um, and he, he makes the devil an open show you know, out of your life. So um, I want to pray for you real quickly. I want you to have a blessed day. I am rooting for your success today. Um, share this video with somebody 
who, who's looking for an answer. The answer is not always in the tangible blessings that God gives. A lot of times the answer is in the position that we take in God. And so I just want to encourage you uh, to dedicate your life to God today and to consecrate. Let me speak a word over you, and then I want you to go into your job. I want you to go to summer school. I want you to go into your marriage, go into your, your discussion with your child, whatever, wherever you're about to go. I want you to go with the attitude that I am separated in my heart and I am separated in my lifestyle and God's going to get the glory out of me. Um, Father, I thank you for the person that's watching this video. I thank you right now, Father God, that today is a blessed day. God, this is the day that you have made, and we rejoice, God, and we are glad to be in it. God, I pray to you on behalf of my brother or sister watching. I ask you, Father God, to strengthen them on the inside, Father God. I ask you, God, to bring your word up uh, in their heart exactly at the right moment they need it, Father God. I ask you, Father God, to release your creativity, Father God, your strength in them, Father God. Release your wisdom in their life, Father God, that they might accomplish great things today. I thank you today, Lord God, that no weapon that is formed against your servant shall prosper, but your servant, God, shall go on to do great things today, Lord God. God, I bless you for their ability to dedicate and to align themselves with your will. God, not thy will, but not our will, God, but let your will, let thy will be done in our lives, God. We get out of the way, Father God. We take authority over our attitude, Father God. We take authority over our flesh, Lord God. And we pull ourselves out of the way that you might go before us, Lord God. And that you might make the path straight for us, Father God. And that you, O oh Heavenly Father, will get glory out of our lives. God, I speak glory in the lives of your people, Father God. I speak power in the lives of your people, Lord God. I speak a sound mind, Father God, in the lives of your people, Lord God. Now, God, forgive us, Lord God, for anything, God, that we have done, said, Lord God, or thought that is completely against your will, Father God. Start us afresh this morning, Lord God, and allow us to live big and bold for you, Father God. Forgive us, Lord God, for, for, for being far from you at times in our lives, Lord God. Wash us clean, Father God, from having negative and, and wicked thoughts, Father God, and selfish thoughts, Lord God. God, we take authority over any depressive thing, God, any anxious thought, Father God, uh, anything, God, any thought that exalts itself against your word, Father God, cleanse that from us now, God, and we cast our cares upon you, God, because you care for us, Father God. So, God, we bless you right now, and we speak victory today, Lord God, and we ask you, Father God, to use us, Lord God, to reveal you to somebody else today, Lord God. So, God, we love you. God, we honor you. God, I thank you for my brother and sister, God. We are out of the way. You have your way in our lives, God. And we bless you now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, child of God, I hope that you were in agreement uh, with that prayer um, for your life. I hope that it blessed you. I want you to go forward now and you have a blessed day in the Lord. Uh, you look out for the devil's schemes. You resist the devil and he will flee from you. And remember, remember, Today is the day you have consecrated yourself. You have taken yourself out of the picture. Now you have given God the opportunity to win. Do this every day of your life, child of God, and you will always live on top and not the bottom. So I'll see you back here tomorrow morning. We'll be praying tomorrow morning and just encouraging you um, again. So make sure that you like, make sure that you share, like my page. Um, I love you. You have a blessed day. We'll holler.